What's up guys, this is the Rifleman, and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to round off happened last time, we mostly fought over here in the Americas. We've got a fight over here in the Carolinas, we've got a fight up here in Michigan. Um, a bit of a dodgy battle here in Upper Louisiana, uh, which thankfully, because the eyes targeted the wrong unit, I managed to win. Um, we knocked out this pirate army here, and I've also moved down to attack the Cherokee, which has resulted in me being at war with Venice, so I'm going to ask them for peace. Because um, there's no point, I don't want to fight in Europe for it. I don't want to fight in Europe, but I'd had to fight in Europe to knock out the Cherokee. Um... And yeah, I've got this. So yeah, once this army's taken Cherokee, they're going to move up and hit this stuck under Jared Henley. This army in the Carolinas is moving up to pressure um, Williamsburg. And I'm tempted to move this navy up to start to harass their trade elsewhere. There we go. So they're starting to pour troops south, but it's not going to help them. Because I'm also up here in Fort Nashwack. To be honest, I might just send these guys down to have a look. What's down here? We'll move into Falmouth then. And then let's build a couple of units of militia. Upgrade this dry dock to a naval hostel, because you never know. More inf more naval inf infrastructure capacity is good. Let's keep the economic grades up going, because I've got more money than I can spend at this point. Let's get this fourth ray over to Cadiz. And to be honest, let's stop recruiting these and let's recruit some Indiamen because it will fit the fluff I'm trying to cultivate for my trade fleets. Cool. There you go. My new another army's being another navy, sorry, is being recruited in San Juan. So second, second, and then let's get some third rates to show our fleet isn't too balanced in favour of um, naval uh, strong naval units not strong naval units but you know, I don't want to have a navy that's full of first rates because it's a bit unrealistic good, so I'm getting my rake over here pick up this protestant missionary who, no, it's catholic missionary who is just absolutely excellent at converting people in the Americas he will probably convert people in Charleston immediately no, I should just put them into Georgetown because that is my port after all oh god, did you not even bring them okay okay, I'm confused so if I move them out... Where the hell are they? Because they're not... Are they in there? No, they're not there. Okay. Uh, lists. Agents. This tab lists all your agents. Their available movement points. And okay, so he's in the middle of... Okay, so he is there. Okay, sorry, I must have been really, must have been really stupid then, because I didn't, couldn't... Good. Uh, four turns you'll get Charleston. Actually, well, first, I'm, before we get too crazy, send him down to... No, just Savannah. I forgot this was a Spanish territory. I could really do with an agent. Especially one of these. Yeah, you become a... Oh, no, I can't recruit... Okay, neither of these can be church schools. That's not very handy. So you're going to be um, economic buildings then. So you need to besiege. Not anymore, it's not. Research, everything's going on okay. Uh, do I really want punch card loom? Machine tools look pretty good. National debt is pretty good actually, but it's quite a big one to go for with my university with no people in it. Um, I'll keep them doing that. Okay, let's hit end turn and see what happens. Yeah, well, they're pouring troops south, but there's also a northern threat to worry about now, which they don't seem to, unless they're consolidating near Philadelphia. It looks like they're just rebalancing.
Ooh, here come the British. I really hope they didn't try and invade me. Well, if they do, we will fight them. Because I've now got a, I've got a really strong navy. And if I took the British Isles, then I'd feel even more inclined to trade away the Iberian Peninsula if I had to. Because um, I've got Britain. Britain's a very wealthy little island. Yep, Cherokee, Cherokee aren't doing nothing. Well, I'm going to let them just stew because... Um, Right now, there's no need for me to attack. No need for me to attack. Like I'm, I, I can, I can afford to wait. Now let's see what Venice does. Oh, Savoy. No, no, maybe they weren't. I thought they were going to do something, but maybe not. So they're going to head my way. Oh no, they're just going to raid. Yeah, that's fair enough. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantation. So, cotton or tobacco? Cotton it is, sir. Let's upgrade this, upgrade this. You are still replenishing. Because ultimately, I'll let, let, let these guys go reinforce the garrison. Uh, these guys can lay siege to Williamsburg. You have no fortifications. You come down and attack Falmouth. Build, add walls. I may as well fortify as I go along. Uh, Meagy, you'll iron mine, but it's an iron mine nonetheless. That's all there is. There will be a port eventually. Oh god, Boston's completely open as well. Well, it would be rude not to, because that. Like if they're gonna if they're gonna leave Boston open like that, then I'd be I'd be mental not to do it. No, nope, keep repairing that and then recruit. We can't recruit anything yet. Build that. Knock down the dry dock. I don't need any more naval capacity. Um, you are happy, even with the university. So I'm going to keep the university for now. Uh, let's get you on. Hmm, start hovering up some of the lower tier techs, like diamond formation. Trade re-raided. Yeah, that's fair enough. So, commercial port in the Carolinas. So, let's send you. Infiltrate Annapolis. Uh, Louisiana's got new military building. Place of states. Water power, cloth mill. You've got new governor's building. Oh, I forgot about this, these guys. Just keep them replenished. They'll, they'll, I'll keep them as a, um, just have them hold as a reaction force. Successful mission. Uh, roads. In the Windward Islands, and in Arcadia, Fort Nashwag. Good. So the income's still pouring in. To be honest, don't be surprised if Britain does declare on me because. You know, I'm in their backyard. I'm taking the, all of their territory that used to be theirs. So I'm going to hit enter and see what the eye does. I'm probably going to get attacked by the Cherokee. Here's the Americans now. <laughs> scrabbling around. Trying to figure out <laughs> what the best course of action is. Oh, yeah, they're going to do an old end around. Yeah, Garrison, New York's a good idea. Good, so now I can attack Michigan and knock out both those stacks in one go. Yeah, about to be attacked. Good, let's fight. Because this will be the end of the Cherokee. The good die first, and they whose hearts are dry as summer burn to the socket. God damn it, we'll be a killjoy. Variety O. Yep, this is going to be a bit of mm. 
same as before. Uh, to be honest, do I want to move up against the Ameri against the natives? Not really. I want to maximize my firepower. Oh, let's get my strong, stronger units to form. We need to keep strong and weak units together. So as they come over this ridge, we will provide. We will be able to pour fire onto them. So a so bunch, bunch of my weaker ones together. Add some walls. To be honest, walls or add walls or um, spikes. Walls probably. Even though they're not going to do too much shooting, they've not got much cavalry either. So. I just have them out to protect this flank. Put my hearts in the center. And then. Well, not, not that unit. These two. Just as a reserve. And my cavalry ready to deploy if needed. Good. Oh, I'm a general. The opening volley is going to be onto their artillery, which is very nicely clustered. Unable to capitalize on it though. Oh no, wait, I spoke too soon. And their general's dead. In the opening volley, they've been reduced quite substantially. Good. Okay, because they are. A melee army, let's just triple speed it to the get within range. Yep, even more far onto their own artillery. It's gone. We'll probably get another good volley onto their artillery before uh, before it becomes a worry. One thing gotta be concerned about is the uh, camouflaged native units that are now that we know are moving up. Okay, so when they get within range. To be honest, if it, right now, because I can only shoot at these three units, I may as well just keep firing at their artillery, because they will get chewed apart by my infantry when they become available. There we go. So what are you? You bowmen? Okay. Cast shot, hit the arms, tribesmen. To be honest, hold fire at will. And just deploy my, deploy my um, cavalry. They're more than enough to take out a bow unit. Okay, so as there's, I thought they were more isolated than that. the bows rattling off now so let's get my cavalry committed Arm tribesmen trying to get involved because their men have routed and they've left the field open. So, Chief's bodyguard. May as well make all my artillery start to try to snipe the remaining general unit. It's a full-on route. 
Um, so I'm going to triple speed it. Okay, let's turn the artillery off now. Okay, let's run my infantry cavalry, these cavalry, back towards my lines to entice the natives to follow me. When these guys get within range of my muskets, then we know exactly what's going to happen. Bash into them. Boof. Confident, wavering, broken. Um, I'm going to continue it just in case it's not the. Uh, just in case this isn't the battle that lets me capture their region. So let's turn off my artillery. Route here to go hit the unit of armed tribesmen. And you also try to hit that unit of armed tribesmen, but they might make it. Don't know how far away they are. The line's fairly far away. My guys are on horses. I think they're going to be okay. Well, they might get hit just before they make it. Boosh. Handful of deaths. And then there's the artillery. Which is. Maybe not, because they're running right into the corner. There's a chance they might not make it. Like, if they ran in a straight line to an edge, they might be okay. But they are all pretty much running to... Right in the corner. So in comes... Led by my gallant general. <laughs> Decisive victory. Good. Because I don't know if it, if it also means my priest is going to have a good workout. Because these native regions are very... Uh, very unhappy about being taken over by foreign powers. So you need to keep an eye on what the Austrians do, because if they put an a, a army onto a, onto a fleet, it could be very bad news for me, and I need them to get into another fight with someone. Anyone. No. So who's, who's attacking Copenhagen? It's going to be the Prussians, isn't it? Hey, if the Swedes are fighting the Prussians, I'm, I might uh, go try to support the Swedes. Well, the Swedes are fighting the Russians as well. Yeah, you know what? I might start trying to tactically support Sweden, the Mexican-Swedish alliance. Aha, they've sent a fleet nearer the power region, my area. It has not yet been developed. Select okay, the Providence. Type. Yep, naval ports. Let's upgrade. Let's build some walls. You're already building. Military tech. Reformed Naval Administration, good. So I've got you. Um, improved coppering is better. Increases recruitment, but it minuses upkeep. So I think I'd rather have that first. Preserved food is pretty good. Now I'll go for that. Yeah, these guys are all researching what they can research. Main people, these are guys are unhappy, but they'll be okay in a minute. So let's take take this army off of sieging for a minute just to hit Peregrine Watts. Ooh. It's going to bring in the garrison, actually. Might withdraw because it's a really funky deployment zone. Don't like that. So I want to cancel this. So what have you got? you got some militia. Okay, so I want to move these guys up to here then probably work oh I did capture the Cherokee region good 
Let's build a mine. Destroy the meeting hall. Destroy the chief's lodge. Exempt you from taxes. Destroy the meeting hall. Uh, destroy these communal farming areas. Let's upgrade that plantation. Cool. And let's make this cavalry army uh, sprint over here. That's where they're more used to me. Fleet arrives. Good. So I see a massive American navy, but. Ooh. Ooh, he, he's an interesting looking chap. To be honest, I might fight this, just because the Americans. So there are no... What I might do first is have a look at this. Ah, it's a Venetian stack. So just hit that quickly. Just so I can free up a slot for these guys to sit on. Boom, that's another 2,600. Then these guys will move on and hit Vance Wilkes. So let's crack on. We're in a war, damn it. We're going to have to offend somebody. That is true. You generally offend them at the gun, though. <laughs> so, you know. But yeah, let's try take the American fleet away from them. Hopefully the weather's in my favour. Generally it is. So some of my ships have been depleted, so we'll see a lot of them. So they're going to be towards the rear. So let's line up with, to be honest, my first range ships of the line. And then let's pick like that. Boom, line of stern. Well, I didn't deploy them properly, did I? There we go. Because I learned on my first battle, I don't want to start straight and try curve. I may as well start in the sort of direction I want to go anyway. I want to be Linus. Oh, no. Buggered up my formation. I mean they're going in a straight line. There's only so wrong that can go. <laughs> to be honest, because their fleet's quite a bit knackered as well. But yes, the idea is to capture as many ships, not destroy them. Pegasus, Cambridge, Connecticut, Diamond, Adventure, at Atalanta. Hey, that could be one of mine. War Spies, that's British for sure. Pennsylvania, Dean, Ardent, and Captain. I'd like to catch a War Spite. But yes, to be honest, it looks like they're going to be sailing straight into my battle line. Um, so what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to chop the recording, because it's going to take a long time to get there, and there's not really much to see. So, I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to fight. Radio guys, our ships are about to fire off their first shots against the USS Pegasus. Actually, Pegasus might be a British ship. There we go, first shots off. As you can see, it's already slightly damaged. Then again, some most of my ships. So my Admiral's right at the back. So we have got another gap forming just from Velasco, which is my heavy rate, heavy first rate. Um, but fortunately, we are in a position where we can just fire onto their ships uh, without any uh, response. So let's double speed it for a second just to get it get a bit more into the action. So San Gennaro is just pounding them. Like I said, still as the plan is to go stick with round shots until they get within range and then switch to chain shot just to try to smash them. And the idea is I want my line of ships to be set up along here, so I'm not worried about doing too much manoeuvring. Nuestro Sonoro de Rosio de Santo Domingo. 
He's probably going to fire off at Cambridge. There you go. More shots off on Pegasus. Let's do chain shocks. By the time they've reloaded, she will be ripe for a chain shot. To be honest, I might even just weigh anchor with these ships. With this guy, because at least then the line will catch up. There you go, broadside, straight into the sails. Not lucky with the dismast at the minute. Oh, yes I am. Formus is gone. So yeah, weigh anchor with them, just to keep firing. Let's pivot this ship a little bit, just to get a broadside off. Probably onto Cambridge. So I pivot just a little bit more. Might even hit Pegasus. Admiral's been killed. So let's keep these ships sailing on. This is see. This that's the thing. This is that's why I dislike having my admiral up front because you lose. You because he, he stands up here, or well, it would have been here, and he just has a bit of a torrid time. So that's fourth rate. I'm not worried about that fourth rate. So their formation has now gone a bit crazy, and they're not quite sure where they want to attack. But the main thing is my heavy first is moving up. They're only a half sail. I don't... Increase sail. Increase sail. All of you increase sail. That was a function I didn't know existed in this game for a very long time. bothered about chasing down that fourth rate the main concern is this second so probably just you can just hunker down there actually so he's in a good little firing arc both tip pegasus and tip diamond when they get into position again if you can make oh pegasus on fire if we can make him explode and blow up diamond as well Diamonds only a 24 pound of frigate. So let's try sail my ship these guys over here. There we go, now my heavy first to getting into the mix. Sell my line up to there. So yeah, so this little Cambridge is going to get some cheeky shots off. I'm probably going to want to sell these guys. These guys are going to be on their own for a while. So hopefully Velasco will get some very good shots into the flank, into the stern of Connecticut. Bow chasers are firing at who? Cambridge maybe. will also get some shots off. Just fire a couple of good old chain shots. I do love dismasting ships. It's my favourite thing to do in naval battles. Okay, so they've all turned. So some of the heavier ships are still at the rear, some second and third rates. OK, 
Okay, let's toggle round shot because we're going to get into range of Cambridge. Okay, so I want to keep my main fleet going in a straight line. Keep everyone going at full sail. Particularly my heavy first because they're so slow. Good, that's the fourth rate down. USS Adventure getting involved. No guns ready. Oh, there you go. There they are. Back in uh, Cambridge is back. Probably will be in range of chain shot once they make get into position to fire. Fire round shot. The is a bit left out, so they're going to get shot out from lots of these ships. Oh, there you go. This should be pretty satisfying. Firing at the tops. Okay, so let's pivot to get my broadside off because they're a bit fast at the minute. I was hoping I'd take a sail with me, but I'm not. So in a way, I'm quite fortunate that ship did not explode. Let's get a round shot. Good luck, you're going to be firing into a bunch of heavy first rates. You are not going to have a fun time. Yep, Cambridge is routing, which is fair enough. So you're going to struggle... Yes. No, pivot to the right. You're going to bump into your ship. And you are then going to get a heavy first rate full broadside. Get ready. Ready, ready, ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Bang! This is why I'm quite happy with it to eventually just start to turn my ships in this direction because I can only start to fire on uh, the rear of their fleet. Load your next broadside. I'm being chased down by a fifth rate. Three ship of the lines getting involved. Renowns, Dak, Knackered. Okay, but these guys are fairly intact, so that's probably why it's a good thing to have some of these ships here. So let's get this guy ready to fire a broadside of chain shot, even if they're not fully loaded. Pivot to the right, then fire. Maybe round shot. Just to put some holes in her. Okay.
<laughs> they're coming right for us. So let's keep my battle line, main battle line, let's keep them going straight. You start firing chain. I'm going to miss with half the broadside, but still. Man, you are about this guy is about to get sandwiched. Oh, poor old, they, at least they get to fire both I fire both my broadsides too. I don't I don't like the odds of this ship surviving. Just gotta try and maneuver my way around these knackered American ships. Okay, let's do round shot. Try to slow down some of these capital ships. Yeah, that's completely fair. You're being pummeled and you're on your own. So what's land is being pummeled. This is going to be a bit tricky to manoeuvre. Good, so this ship has managed to dismast Pennsylvania. Or oh, this ship did, San Gennaro. Uh, War Spy has been dismasted, which is good. But yeah, this ship, as long as they, if they can stand. Okay, let's sail this first rate up here. Let's sail this first rate up and around here. I mean, I'm going to accept this ship is lost. We can sell this guy at the, at the gap up behind them, causing them some trouble later on. Oh, full broadside into this ship, not good. But I'm mainly looking just trying to knock masts off ships with this guy. Until I accept he's going to die, so I'm happy just to let that be the case. But all these ships are still just, just sailing at half sail. Get into the action more. There you go, adventure's been dismasted. This guy's firing around shot, so once he gets up here, it's shot straight into war spy. Firing through firing through one of the American ships to hit one theirs. So they're getting a broadside into my first, which is not ideal, so my right broadside's still pretty good. Heavy first is taking a bit of a panel in. Okay, let's do round shot because you're right next to a bunch of them.
Okay, let's do chain, show fire into Dean. Try and knock out one of her masts, or even just put some holes in her sails. To be honest, it does help. I think. Oh, you're on fire! So fight the fire. Concerned, many guns destroyed. Yeah, your left broadside is 32. Your right is 28. You are a pretty knackered heavy first rate. Still, you still have many, many hull points. Put this first straight ship of the line into a position to fire onto Pennsylvania. Hopefully, before my ship gets in the way. Oh, they're reloading, that's why. Oh no, it fired into Dean instead. Slow to right broadside. Let's pivot around. I'm wavering. As long as I get shot at by uh, Captain, I should get my fourth rate my broadside off. Only with 17 guns, but better than nothing. Ah, oh, just as I clicked it. So many of my ships just aren't in the fight. Yeah, I'm heavy first rate shaken because they have taken an absolute pummeling. Let's get this guy firing a chain shot because uh, Dean's in a great position to target. Oh, yeah, this heavy first is going down. There we go. Dean's got two masts gone. San Felipe is going to fire on them as well. How much we anchor? Because they're not within the firing arc of this ship. They can just keep firing shots off. Oh damn it! <laughs> yeah, they're routing, which is which is fair enough. Meaning I couldn't afford to trade in the Americas if I didn't take out this ship. Okay, let's do... Ah, okay. I had control of them for a split second. Another rolling broad for San Felipe. Aiming at him? At Dean? Yep, yeah, it is at Dean. But I'm more than happy just to keep firing broadsides of chains. If I knock out his sail, then he will just sit there doing nothing but I only have four yeah got a handful of guns to be honest let's pivot this guy around to just sit there firing at Dean as well so why anchor rolling broadside from Galicia good good Aha, La Presa has come back. Round shot. Turn off fire wheel because I want to hit this uh, fourth rate first. It's closer. This means routing, which is fine. Oh, I'm brought to the right, didn't I? Ah, oh, that's not great. Only a handful of guns. Still, fire chain to maybe knock out one of her masts. Speedy little swine. Fire! No, nothing. Nada. He's firing an Ardent, which is probably British again. So Dean is unhappy. To be honest, just fire a round shot with him. Galicia's gone out of position. Ship's blown up. Oh, let's put Pennsylvania on fire. 
Is that one of mine? Can't see, the mast is all burnt out. Could well be, but Pennsylvania's on fire quite, quite severely. Central mast gone. Just hold anchor because it can't really afford to move. To be honest, it'll sell you right down the gap. Same with you. Glacier's gone out of position again. Land Franco is in position. Will be another rolling broadside from Galicia. So let's get this guy to sail on here. They can fire onto the ships, these ships from the left. And let's put La Franco into position to fire broadsides again. Ninety-six men, one hundred and sixteen men. La Bresa has taken a real hammering. Surrendered. So let's send you on a job to start hunting down adventure. Let's get you to pivot to fire onto uh, Pennsylvania. Same with you. Dean's still going. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. These American ships are on fire. Then again, it's only a fourth rate. You go, Lanfranco is in position. This is routing. You can't really afford to route in many places. Not wavering. Routing again. Yep, yeah, let's just hunker this ship down here just to fire a blast of chain shot into the rigging. So let's see if I can knock out one of the masts here. Oh, they just started firing. Okay, fire a broadside into the rear mast. I'm not going to catch that fifth rate, it's far too fast. Dean has finally been dismasted and has surrendered. Round shot. So the only two remaining are this third rate and this second rate. Let's spin you around, because right now. Few more guns firing onto Pennsylvania. Let's get San Gabriel into position. Galicia keep coming over. You're on fire, so stop fire at will. So you're routing on math, so I'm gonna triple, start triple speeding it now because ultimately. I doubt too much is going to happen, unless my ship blows up. So let's see. Yeah, these guys are good. Yeah, this guy will get some shots off onto that. Into the third rate, although to be honest, it looks like they're retreating. See, combatant winning slightly. Oh, yeah, I can make you fire at will now. Justice mastered. Blast another broadside in here. Because to be honest, yeah, it looks like he's fleeing uh, the battle. 
mean, I could try and do something like that, but I don't think it'd work. There we go, let's triple speed it. Because... Okay, so let's just pick, like, you guys go after the adventure and everyone else go after that remaining fifth rate. <laughs> they don't like its odds. Not at all. Okay, one thing I want to do is... You... There you go, set... So you set full sail. Make some more speed. Ah! Broads had actually managed to make a first rate round. To be honest, it was fairly knackered. It's on fire. Ah, he's back in the mix. Nope. <laughs> Thought he came back just for a split second. As long as it doesn't blow up. Yeah, it's browning, it's dancing between is it here or is it not? Because it's on fire. I think that every time its morale recovers enough to join me join me again, it's deciding that it can't. Yep, yeah, but that ship, the entire fleet is after you. Uh, to be honest, let's pick one of these to continue chasing that fifth rate. Whether it will or not is another question, I doubt it, but, you know. There you go, it's finally surrendered. So let's get this ship around. Yeah, that fifth rate is gone. There's no chance of me getting that. Just way too fast. But what I can do is with Africa hit this third. Well, to me, it's not lost. Compared to where it started, it's not lost many, many guns and many uh, crewmen. So might be in surprisingly good nick. All my ships are fighting to get over here. The Africa's right broadside is pretty weak. Get the broadside ready for when she gets in position. When Galicia gets in position, round shot. This is combatants even. I gotta love their optimism. Then fire. Let's just do this. Just start pummeling them. This poor third rate ship of the line, just surrounded by ships. Still, she sailed back to join the combat. That's what matters. And only a knackered fifth rate ship has left will have escaped the field of battle. Let's just get a rolling board from us from Saint Saint Agnes. Oh, she's not got many. No, no, her left brought is very weak. Yours isn't much better either. Boom, boom. So you're routing, but continue, because you're not going to get very far. There you go. Then this guy's just got to make it to the edge of the map, which can't be very far away now. Or is it, surprisingly? Everyone, get him! No. That can't be true. Okay, so just in case it is true, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the recording here and I'll bring you back at the end of the battle. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in literally a second. Right here, guys. I am back in the game. Interestingly, declares it a Pyrrhic victory. Which I don't... 
agree with Madagascar. So, I mean, yeah, I took more damage than I would needed to. Um, but look at that. I lost one ship. And I've captured an entire fleet. So let's get them back to Europe to repair. Let's get you back to the Americas because there's more ships. There's more shipyard space in the Americas. And they are there, ready, bringing in not much money, actually. Crewman report. But anyway, looking at the timer, I've definitely overran by this part. Um, I mean, I've chopped and changed the recordings, but I've seen how long the naval battle was. So, I'm going to cut it here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed uh, these naval battles. And I will see you in the next part.